Okay guys, we have a horizontal rope that it's tied to a 50 kilograms box on a flat frictionless ice surface. We are going to analyze three different cases for this box. Case A. What is the tension in the rope if the box is at rest? Express your answer in newtons. So we see in the picture that the box is at rest on a flat surface and the initial velocity is zero because it is at rest and in a static equilibrium. Let's see what are the forces in the y direction. We know that the box is at rest, hence there is no acceleration in the y direction. So the summation of the forces in the y direction has to be zero. The only forces that we have are mg going downwards and fn going upwards. They both add to zero. For this special case, because it's on a flat surface, Fn is equal to mg. Now let's do the summation of the forces in the x direction. And because it is at rest, we know that the net force has to be zero. The only force that we could have in the x direction is the f pull due to the pull of the rope. And because it is at rest, the tension in the rope f pull has to be zero newtons. Now let's analyze case b. What is the tension in the rope? If the box moves at a steady 1 meters per second, express your answer in newtons. So as you can see, I denoted the constant velocity to the right with the yellow arrow. From the previous experiment, we found that the summation of the forces in the y direction add up to zero. But also it's important to notice that the y forces do not affect the x acceleration, only x forces are capable to affect the x acceleration. Only x forces affect x and y forces affect y. Since we have constant velocity, this box is in dynamic equilibrium. The summation of the forces has to be zero because there is no change in velocity. Velocity is constant. The only force that we could have in the x direction is the f pull force done by the rope. Remember that there is no friction because the ice is frictionless. That means that the tension in the rope when the box moves at a constant 1 meter per second velocity, f pull has to be 0 newtons. Now let's analyze case C. What is the tension in the rope if the box has a velocity vx 1 meter per second and an acceleration ax 5 meter per second square? Express your answer in newtons. We can see from the picture that we have a velocity of 1 meter per second represented by a yellow arrow to the right and an acceleration of 5 meter per second square represented by a red arrow also to the right. Remember, the only forces that could affect the velocity in the x direction are the x forces and the only force that we could have in the x direction is f pull due to the rope because the ice is frictionless and the friction forces are negligible. So the summation of the forces in the x direction is equal to mass times acceleration. Since there is an unbalanced force, that's the f pull force that's causing that acceleration. So we say that f pull is equal to mass times acceleration. That means the mass of the box times the acceleration that was recorded. And we found that f pull is equal to 50 kilograms from the box times 5 meter per second squared. That's the acceleration. And it was found that the tension in the rope F pull has to be 250 newtons as shown. Okay guys, I hope that this explanation was useful. Remember to give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep it going guys.